Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. These are the collective messages for Pisces. I went ahead and shuffled the deck. This is collective. I'll go ahead and cut it. It's for Pisces, Monday through Friday. And so let's see what you guys have. I kept hearing that song that says, I'm a savage, classic, bougie, ratchet or something like that. So you guys might be singing or that song could resonate with you. So... Pisces, I see you guys are really focused on your coin, or you could be stressing about a person that left or that you walked away from. I feel like you're stuck in your head about a situation. You could be stressed about money, trying to find a way out. You could be also waiting for some money or something. So I feel like you guys are stressing about someone who left you, or you could be stressed about money. You feel bad about a situation. You were might have been waiting for money and it didn't get here, is what I'm getting. You were hoping for some type of solution to a problem, and you're stressed out about it. I feel like you were waiting on something and it didn't get here. This was your wish, but for some reason, it wasn't what you expected it to be. But I feel like you are going to get this. It's just going to take some time. You're going to have victory over something that either held you back, made you feel bad. Someone walked away, made you feel bad because they held back from you is what I'm getting, but you're going to have victory over this. You could be currently stressed at home with your mom, family. I'm also getting, if you guys are in a relationship, this person really loves you and sees you as wifey material. So they could be sneaky about a situation. Okay, so two things. Either this person is in a relationship with you and they want something serious and they're hiding that they want commitment, or... For others of you, this person is hiding someone from you because they're already in a commitment. So two different stories. Take what resonates. Um, this is collective. This person is holding back or you're holding back because you want to be happy and you feel like this person left you with the five of pentacles because they were juggling or they had a decision to make or you had a decision to make. It could have been your friend or working with more than one person here. You're single, happy, and abundant. This could cause a tower moment to a love situation that maybe you walked away from or they walked away from. But you're manifesting new love here is what I'm seeing. You're manifesting someone who will love you and be very passionate. But do be careful because I'm seeing this kind of like Knight of Wands player energy. I feel like you guys just want to be passionate new beginning in love. I feel like you are going to get that with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're manifesting something new and you're ending the Knight of Wands energy is what I'm getting. So if in the past this person was a bit of a player, you're ending that. You're stressing out because you left this person is what I'm getting. You're manifesting someone new and you are going to get your wish. Another thing is I wanted to get all of my crystals out. I don't know why. I typically don't put these many crystals, but for some reason I felt like you guys needed to have some type of protection. So you could be feeling that. Um, so I have Archangel Metatron's Merkaba here. You guys might like Archangel Metatron, um, Obsidian, Rose Quartz, and I think this is Golden Angel. It's a really pretty, like, Golden Aura. Angel Aura Quartz, I think is what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's just like an angel. An angel crystal with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person might come back with an apology to tell you the truth. Taurus Virgo Capricorn you ended something because they had options or they caused confusion and you want the truth from this person could be dealing with an earth sign doesn't have to be um, but I do see you have options here also and you're single and you have an offer coming through so this could be a new love offer that's coming and someone else might be watching you receive this offer and you're closing a cycle from your past which I feel is that ten of swords and taking action to victoriously overcome this. I do feel you have something new and better coming your way. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. You ended a cycle 
and the cycle has now turned in your favor. So this could all be associated with Saturn going direct. You also have Mer Mercury retrograde, hence I get stuck saying my words. Um, Mercury retrograde is coming up also on the 14th of October. So this person could want to come back. It's all about, you know, being very emotional. And um, you being a water sign, this could heavily impact you. You might also feel, or you won't feel like sad. You could feel sad, but what I was going to say is this other person that you left or you walked away from, or if they walked away from you, they could be wanting to come back with an apology because they're heartbroken. But I feel that you closed out this cycle of heartbreak. Yeah, with the death card, you totally did. This is Scorpio energy. I feel like you closed it out, but this is all about death and rebirth. So you're letting go of the past and moving towards something new. With the Six of Wands, I do feel you're going to overcome this situation. Yeah, because judgment is called on this person for whatever actions that they did, however they hurt you. I feel also with the horse, he looks really strong and muscular. So I feel like you guys are finding the strength to overcome this past situation that's over and done with. I do have, I feel you have new offers. With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you're going to have like flirting. People are going to be coming around, wanting to talk to you. So I feel like you can just be like lighthearted if you're single and just kind of, you know, be happy, be playful to so draw in that new positive energy. Um, yeah, with the Three of Cups, you're going to have lots of friends or maybe just like going out, dating where it's safe, of course. Um, but I do feel that you guys might get invited for like drinks or to hang out. Um, but you guys are just going to be like really fun and playful is what I'm seeing here. You're going to overcome this and find your happiness. You're going to have victory. And with the Six of Wands here, you're moving away from anything negative from the past. Um, that wasn't of your highest good. You're moving to calmer waters. So I do see you guys overcoming the situation. If I cut the deck, I have the Knight of Swords. So someone's going to want to come back to you um, because they've gone within Virgo energy with the Hermit card. You could be dealing with an air sign with the King of Swords here. I feel like this person is watching you overcome a negative situation and they see you working on yourself. This could also be work related. So I feel like you might have a boss who's going to give you a promotion is what I'm seeing for some of you because I feel like this person here is like a, like he's watching over you kind of like a, yeah, I see him like a boss, like a father type of figure. Yeah, I feel like he's seeing you work on yourself or the work that you're doing at your job is paying off and they see your hard work. So for some of you, this is regarding career. They want to work or they see that you're working hard and they want to give you a promotion. And yep, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys might be getting a raise at work aside from getting over a past situation that caused any heartache or burdens. The cycle is over. You do have something new coming your way. I feel for you guys, this is a lot to do with money. Totally a money situation. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. You guys are going to start saving up, um, you know, some type of money offer, promotion, money coming your way. You guys are just going to come into some type of financial increase, which is going to be really successful for you. This week um, is what I'm seeing for Monday through Friday. This is collective. So take what resonates, Pisces, and let me know if these messages were helpful. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions on these crystals, I'll try and leave a description. I have to go through and make sure um, what these exact crystal names are. I think this is Orange Angel Aura Quartz. There are a lot of angel. Um, look how pretty that rainbow is. Uh, but yeah, so there are a lot of like angel crystals that I have here. So um, I'll try and leave the description in the description box below what these crystals are. And if you would like a personal reading, the information is also in the description box below. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. 9-11, as I said that. So 9-11 is associated with Archangel Michael, and I'm getting major chills right now. So if you guys have not tried reaching out to Archangel Michael, I strongly suggest that you do. If you're watching this video, um, it's for a reason. And I feel that Archangel Michael wants to connect with you and has messages for you, Pisces. So definitely take some time to meditate and ask for guidance. Um, Archangel Michael definitely wants to help you heal and has some messages for you. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great week. Love and light.